Hey everybody, sorry about that. We went and changed from Wi-Fi to cell phone data. I hope that makes a difference. So tonight I'm going to be showing you how to base coat and finish this countdown to Christmas design. It's an indoor design that we cut on our laser. And I'm going to show you how I would base coat this with the roller instead of using this. If this is what you're comfortable with, that's great. It's just going to take you longer. And I'm about, a baby. Uh, Oh, a matter of two minutes, you're going to see all of this is going to be base coated. That's how easy it is. So let's just go ahead and get started. So this is, I would base coat this gray first. And I've got my gray roller. And I'm just going to load my roller. And y'all know that when I work with find the red or the green, either one. In this case, I'm probably going to paint this one green because I have one on the other table. I'm going to show y'all that's red. And I want to sample one red, one green. Hi, Shakia. Hi, Miss Debbie. Hi, right, Joanne. tonight. I'm glad you're joining us. We're here having a little bit of fun. Uh, I've been in the house most of the day because it's been kind of raining, but I'm not going to complain. Y'all know we need the rain. Girl, I got me some good sleep. I sleep yeah. so good in the rain. And I don't know what it is about <laughs> the rain, but I took a pretty good nap myself in the rain. Hi, Pam. Okay. In just a few seconds, I base coated my entire ornament. Now, I know that I want these words to be gray in my design, so look what I do. And I want Connie to pan in on that so people can see how quick you can actually paint this. Now, the trick is when you do these letters with the roller, do not have a lot of paint on your roller. A little bit will go a long, long way. Miss Debbie shared everywhere. Thank, Thank you so you much. Debbie. Hi, Kim Simon. That Debbie, and they always she's always taking care of me. I'm going to go ahead and put some gray under here because I know I'm going to paint this red. So I'm going to go ahead and put some gray under here. And you can see this roller is really user friendly. You can get this at any big box store, Home Depot, hardware store, whatever. Hi, Kitty. And I'm just rollering. And then what I do is I put this back in here. I'm going to turn this over. Now tonight before I go to bed, I'll actually put these back in their bag. But I don't have time to mess with that this moment. So in just that little bit of time, I base coated all my gray. And what we're painting right now is the um... indoor design Christmas countdown. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to load this up. This is the actual stand. It's going to go on the display stand. I want my display stand to be black. So I'm going to just very, very quickly, I'm going to roller this side. This is going to be my... Uh, display stand. You get this in the blank. We sell this as a blank. We also sell this as a paint party. Debbie, if you could list the blank and the paint party, that would be gray. And Joanne is asking, is gray a good base color yes. right as you're starting to paint this black? So why did we paint the first one gray? Because I know that I'm going to do red and green over there and gray is really going to go good under that. I also know that this is black. It's a great black. And Base I know is a great black it's going to cover everything. Why am I doing that, Con? I got, I got to stop talking. <laughs> Look, I got to do these numbers. I know, right? Y'all know we like to chew we the like fat to, around here. Exactly. So I'm going to do these numbers right quick. They go so fast with the rollers. With the roller. So, so fast. Now, if you don't feel confident with the roller, you can always use your sponge. Always. You can go back to that. But the roller is faster, right? It is. And the whole point of a lot of our videos is to teach you to do something different. Give you ideas on yeah, what else what could work. what you could do to make your work process faster. Okay. So I've done that. I'm going to move on. I've got some dark green here. The reason I'm doing this one in dark green is I'm actually going to do that design in green. How creatively crafts. So since I'm going to do my bulb in green, I'm going to make this one dark green. Okay. And again, it's important if you use this roller, don't have a lot of paint Marina. on here. Just have enough to cover your surface. Don't put a whole lot of paint Hi, on the roller. I know that green's going to cover well, so I didn't worry about putting gray under there. Okay, we've got that. Next on the list is white. So in this short amount of time, we've gotten this face coated. These are going to be my rectangles that go behind those black numbers, okay? So you just kind of sit here. If they move around on you, which they're going to probably, I just put my finger on. 
And how many coats of white do you think that needs? Honestly, I'm going to do two coats of white because okay. I like it. You could get away with one. I just like the I like the look to be of really, two. Really, really, really thick. Yeah. So two light coats is what I would do. And you can these are my rectangles. If you order the blank, you get everything you see on this table. Hi, Robin. Including. You're going to get the uh, last name of your choice. If you come to the paint party, obviously you'll get that and we'll teach you how to paint. And plus at the paint party, we do a lot of eating and laughing. Yes, we do. Hey, last, the other day we were eating ice cream. It doesn't ice. take a paint party for us to like our vittles around yeah, here. Yeah, we, like we like to eat no matter what though. One yeah, of your paint parties, good. you had a, was it ice cream cake? Yes, we girl. Had a wedding cake, ice cream cake. Oh, M G S B. I didn't get any of that one because I didn't go to the paint you party. So if you want some of that, you got to go to the paint the paint the party. Paint party. Yeah. Okay. So I got all of these just about finished. And of course, I have to do Christmas. You don't have to follow the colors that I do. Uh, you can obviously follow what I do, or you can do your own color scheme. It's really right? whatever you want. But notice I'm just rollering these letters back and forth. I'm not bearing down very hard, just enough to get the paint on there. In this case, we're doing last name Fields for Ashley. Miss Debbie had the cake twice. Oh, it was so good. It was so good. Wedding cake ice cream is so good. I have to say, I'm surprised HGB's had such a wonderful, uh, not, I mean, I love HGB's, don't get right, me wrong, but. Right, but they have good stuff. Okay, all of that's base coated. So we're gonna, I'm gonna let Connie pan over there while I go over here and take care of this. This was pretty quick with the roller, y'all. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. And some of it is just base coated. Look at Ellie Mae. <laughs> she keeps coming to the door and, and whining. You can squeeze through there, silly. <laughs> no, right. she can't. We're ready to go over here. We've got all that base coated. I've got all this other stuff set up. Miss Debbie said HEB's has the best ice cream. Oh, really? I, I didn't know. I'm going to have to catch up yeah, on the really times. Okay, so I came over here. I, I base coated this earlier during the day. So here's what I would do. And, and Hi, Janet. I had posted this in a couple of different uh, groups. She did very fast. And everybody is always very complimentary, and they all think it looks great and all of that, and it's because of this that I'm doing right here. So get your brush out, do some shading like this. There's not a lot to do because this design has so many layers on it. Hi, Melanie. You're just going around the perimeter of your circle. Okay. Something like that. I'm going to go around the entire circle. I am also dipping this paint, and I'm going to do a right around here. Okay. I'm going to go right around here. This is the little recess that is going to hold my uh, numbers. Numbers. I was gonna say letters, but it ain't numbers. I'll also just kind of do this. Just take that brush and just kind of lay it down there. I've got this. And I'm gonna show you how you can do the little berries. I think the little berries would be hard for most people to, to shade. So I'm going to show you how to do those the easy way. Hey, we're all about that. The easy, easy, easy way. Uh, something like that. I'm going to come in here and do that. I'm doing it. And the shading is what is going to make it. So if you don't feel proficient with the brush that I'm doing, I want you to pay attention to this next thing that I do. Okay? So what I would do is I would get a small... And you can do the same concept there if you want to. I would get a small um, sponge. And watch. Anybody can do this. It doesn't matter if you really know how to paint or not. You can do this. And just the difference in doing that. Okay? And it's okay if it makes a mess. Yes, it's okay. It's all good. It doesn't have to be perfect. I ain't trying to be perfect, y'all. It's a good thing we ain't trying to be perfect no, because... Ain't nobody trying to be perfect. <laughs> So I'll just do a little bit of that. I'm gonna put that down. I'm just gonna kinda come in here and do this. Something like that. And maybe make it match over here. There we go. Anybody can do that. And in the comment section, y'all, tell us what you're working on. What's yeah. your what's your latest latest project? They might just be uh, vegging out on a Monday night because they're tired from working all day. 
I'm tired from taking a nap all day. It's very yes. exhausting. Yeah. <laughs> Monday, hey, Kim. Mondays are our con con's day also. She had to take her nap. Sure is. Yeah. I uh, did a bunch of stuff and I also took a nap. But hey, when it's raining, you got to take a nap. Man, I haven't been sleeping at night for some reason. And it's the weirdest thing. Like, I'll be, I'll be wide awake just thinking of the most bizarre, just oh, bizarre things. Wonder or, if I did so and so on Tuesday because I can't remember. Did I do that? What I'll do, y'all help me understand and see. Y'all tell me, does this happen to y'all? Tiffany's doing Christmas presents. Hey, oh, that sounds awesome. I love doing the Christmas stuff. I just love, love, love. Hi, Miss Victoria. Hey, Miss Victoria. I got a new design. Well, not a new design. I redesigned. I'll put it to you that way. Miss Nan taught this afternoon. Miss Nan, what did you what teach? Did you teach. Tell us. Tell us. We want to know. Miss Debbie did her, oh, Miss Debbie did her pumpkin trio from the paint party. Uh, you go, girl. She was, Debbie was nice enough to forego painting at the paint party. And uh, what would you do without Miss Debbie? Uh, my life would be a lot more stale and not near as interesting. Pam is working on Happy Fall, y'all. Happy Fall. Kim Simon's working on Astros. I saw Kim, she had texted me one of her Astros things. She did a great job. It looks really, really Hi, Ashley Fields. Ash. Kim, Ashley. I got to nail on one of these over here, I promise. Kitty, um, Kitty's working on Halloween and Christmas. Miss Nan taught energy healing. Look, we need some positive energy around here. Do y'all know, did Mary tell y'all she dropped a thing of paint on one of her uh, pieces? Like, it was sitting there one minute, and the next minute, it had, it had spilled. I had just painted a base coat, y'all, is what I did. While the base coat was wet, I dropped a two ounce cup of paint all over. Not a good thing. Oh, Laura is making a fake swing to take pictures of her newest great granddaughter. Ah, don't you love Share me? a picture with us if you yeah, can. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, y'all. We'd love to see y'all's photos. We really would. So I'm pretty much done with the paint portion, okay? So at this point. Hi, Marcy. Because I have done that, and I've done, I've already done all my base coating. I'm just going to do what I call dry fitting. Dry mm -hmm. fitting, meaning I'm just going to put everything on here. I better spell this right because at the party the other day, instead of pumpkin patch, I did patch pumpkin. <laughs> and let me tell you, I was quick to rip that off. <laughs> Well, it was a busy day. The customer I mean, was looking at me. You could tell they didn't want to say anything. She's like, Mary, did you mean to make patch pumpkin? Or was it supposed look, to be? Look, we're starting a new trend around here. It's a patch pumpkin, okay? Look. Was, a pumpkin of patches. I was doing all I could to keep my head above water. Right? That, you know, and paint parties are long days because they yeah. start early with all the preparation. Yeah. Thank you so much, Miss Debbie and Miss Victoria, for all the times y'all help. Oh, yeah. Y'all are godsends. And uh, Paula helps me a lot. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it really, anybody who shows up at the store will get uh, suckered into helping me. And it's so fun to hang out and talk with Mary because she's always got a bunch of laughs. And so, uh, you know, we're going to laugh and we're going to eat. Exactly. Laughing and eating. Okay, so I've got all that on there, right? I have, I think I've got this kind of the way I want it. I'm going to turn this around for the camera. This is just really important that y'all get to see. I know I've seen this design. Can you lift it just a hair? There you go. So that I've dry fitted is what I've done. Okay. Now, the cool thing about this design, I've got these up here that stick out. I right? love how they they're fitted. I love so that. So then you know that when you come in here and you do this, right, you're good. I put my fingers on the side. And I make sure the top layer and the bottom layer, using my touch, not my sight, are identically lined up with touch, not sight. Now, I can see I got a little boo-boo here. Not a boo-boo. I just didn't get this part out. So let me get that out, and then we'll nail that down. Uh -oh. I mean, what the heck? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. We got to keep the rated G around here. Facebook Look, off. most of the time we are rated G, but yeah, every once in a while our country roots come come shining well, through. Things will slip out that shouldn't. Let's put it that way. Now, normally, oh, Miss Victoria said, oh, Miss Victoria, what don't be saying? lying. She said, Connie has such a wonderful voice. She I love does. listening to her. She does. Look here, it, that I, I, yeah. 
Right. I'm not always so engaging, I promise. Normally I use this, okay? But in this video, y'all don't need to sit here and see me glue down a bunch of letters. Right. I've done that before, so I'm gonna be in kind of a hurry, so I'm gonna use this, right? I oh love God, how I'm fitted those back. leaves are. Yeah. It just, it does something to it. It, it, really, it does. really does. I'm going to come back in a minute, y'all. I'm going to put white on there. You'll see. Okay. Tell me if y'all need a different camera uh, view. Uh, tell me if I should fire Connie as the camera person. <laughs> exactly. If she ain't doing good, that's it. Look here. We saw a snake around here earlier. So, uh, um. Y'all, we tried to tell Bruce. There was, okay. Yellow on black, not a friend of Jack. Or, no. Yellow all on I, black, kill a fella. Uh, <laughs> it goes. All I know is that friend of Jack. Uh, black on. Okay. Anyway, we knew it earlier. We kind of forgot it now. All I know is there was a snake. We came home from lunch. The snake was slithering right here at the porch. And the dogs were all right there. All these dogs we have around and here. Not even get the snake. Good. Good. The dogs about my dog. So of course, Connie and I are yelling, "Snake! Snake! 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 Bruce, kill the snake!" He gets a burn. I'm very <laughs> He takes the broom and sweeps the snake off to the grass. <laughs> How is that helpful? Mary was not feeling How that. How is that helpful in all sincerity? He's an animal lover. And uh, Miss, let's see, Nan, she wants to know if you paint over the nails. You can if you want to. I don't. Kim don't. Simon said you need cats. Huh? Kim Simon said we need cats because they would chase That's off true. the snakes. That's true. Cats would, would do that. That's Us, true. we don't, we're animal lovers, but we don't like snakes. And uh, so, of course, Connie and I are running around. Snake, snake, snake! <laughs> like Bruce, a bunch of silly. Bruce, kill the snake! He gets We're the... trying to keep the dogs away from right, it I didn't because want the to bite the dog. we didn't know if it was the friend of Jack or if it kills a fellow. So yeah, we kept trying to recite the, the little phrase. Black on yellow, kill a fellow. Something on. Friend anyway, what yeah. that expression is. <laughs> I, me I too, Marina. Us too. Marina said, get her the hoe. It don't matter what color. Exactly. Look, I love every animal on this planet except for snakes. And I ain't that crazy about rats. But I might let them make it if they leave me alone. Right. But snakes? No, man. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I ain't trying to play with no snakes. So Bruce gets the broom and takes <laughs> the snake and sweeps him across the way. And I'm telling Bruce, how is this helpful? Connie and I want the snake to be dead. He's like, I can't find a... Um, Utensil of he said it wasn't the dangerous kind, so he wasn't going to kill but it. But I honestly think he doesn't know. He just didn't want to go out to the thing and try to find it to help him to kill it. I think it was Miss Nan was asking, do you always paint your uh, nail? nail uh, no. It really just depends. And she, uh, let's see. I might. It depends on, when I say paint, here's right, what I do. I do not, y'all, I keep it very easy. Here's my job of painting. That's what I would do. If I do that at all. So I don't worry about getting it all complicated. And Mary Kay would like to know, what size nails do we use? You have a choice, I believe, between two, two choices. You can do half inch or you can Is do it three these? eighths. Yeah, hold on. Half inch or three eighths? So I got these off Amazon, and Connie, you can show them this. Okay. Well, I'm just getting some other stuff. I sometimes use half, most of the time I use half inch because the material I'm using is one quarter. So you've got one quarter for this and one quarter for that. So together they make half inch. That's why I use half inch most of the time. If you're using a smaller material, you might use three eighths. I'm with you, Marina. She said her dad always said the slits in their eyes, you could tell if it was poisonous. But we're not going to get that close. No. And we're not getting that close. No, my three dogs were right there. And, I and was they were so, about jumping the dogs around, exciting. Bit. They were so excited to see us, they missed the snake. Yeah, they didn't even see the snake, which I. Thank God. That tells you my But I'm thinking all these dogs observing. in this yard and a snake. Exactly. Whatever. And then every once in a while, possum or squirrels. We've, we're surrounded by forests, and the animals love. Of course, they love to come to our yard. Why yes, wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they? Well, and y'all got to remember, a lot of those wild animals are looking for food, and or water. Right. That's especially water. Especially with all the, uh, especially in the summer, we would deliberately go out there 
and put water in the forest and bowls for the uh, wild critters because those animals need water. Hi, Patty. And one thing I did read, the, the dangerous one, is that the coral snake it will try to avoid you. Whichever one is the killer snake, there's a coral snake and then another snake that it looks just like it. Whichever uh -huh. one is the most dangerous, they do try to avoid you, but if you corner them, they'll get you. But I'm well, just not trying to be around no you, snakes. Cornering them with the broom, does that count? Because I was not happy. <laughs> That's why it just slithered off. I was not happy to <laughs> And me and Connor, we're all running around, and Bruce is all calm, and we're like, snake, snake, get the snake. He's all like, whatever, I'll get the broom. It re I think it really was not the dangerous kind, because his head was shaped in. I believe it was the dangerous kind. Look That's here. It, it should have been gone anyway. Hi, Holly. snake in their house. No, we don't. Or biting the dogs. I don't want no snakes nowhere. Right. Nobody wants that. So if I was going to do this, here's what I would do. If you're going to do those nails, you can always get a paintbrush if you want, but I, I don't have time for that. Okay, there we go. But you don't always cover the, the nails nah, either, you were saying. Nah, I don't worry about that. But what I will do... Victoria said this sneaky snake will be back tomorrow. That, exactly. And that was my point. I said, Bruce, you don't know that that snake is not going to try to bite the dogs or, or whatever. And y'all, he just wasn't, he just wasn't upset at that. Look, I think he thought, seriously, he said it wasn't the dangerous kind. He was going to just let it go. But I think he don't know. <laughs> okay, so I got to put some... I have to put some highlights. I haven't heard that Sneaky Snake song in a long yeah. time. Sneaky and the dude snake. that sang the Sneaky Snake song was always talking about the squirrels in church running at people's dresses. <laughs> oh, I remember that. I remember that yeah. song. You have to be kind of older to remember that stuff. So, y'all, the other day I saw this thing on Facebook. I laughed, I laughed, I laughed. It said, this guy went to the pizza place, to the restaurant, and they called the number 867. So he got 5309. Five, three, oh, <laughs> and he said, nobody, nobody got, got it. it. <laughs> and he said, so I sat down and ate my pizza. And <laughs> We're old, Missy. Be, We're old. You have to be old enough to remember the song. 867530. We're oh, old. Man. And then, so then I was telling Bruce that. And so all day, Bruce is like, Eight, six, seven, five. And he's like, I can't get that stupid song out of my head. I'm like, hey, it's okay, Marcy. That's what we're here for. Marcy would like to know what kind of gun you've got. So this uh, is an airstrike. Uh, Ryobi pin miller. And didn't somebody in our group suggest that you yeah, get one of these? And she that. has loved this and, thing. And I really loved it. Really Do you loved remember it. how much this cost? $139. Bucks, but listen to me and get it on direct... Um, uh, DirectToolsOutlet.com because I got, got one of them on And then Amazon. this is the nails. You got one on Amazon? You didn't and like it? Well, what happened was it gave out on me and they wouldn't honor the uh, Oh, warranty. no, man. Amazon wouldn't? So That's surprising. So when I called Ryobi, they said, ma'am, always order from DirectToolsOutlet.com because that is our website. And if you order it and you have trouble and you've ordered it from DirectToolsOutlet.com, we're going to honor Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. Do you remember that book? Me and, me and Miss Victoria remember that book. Are you there, God? It's a Judy Bloom. Oh, my God. I love Judy Bloom so much. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. It's me, Margaret. I've been being really good. Okay. We're on a different phone tonight, y'all, and y'all's comments are going up so fast I can't catch them all. So I apologize. If you asked a question, please ask it again uh, because I only see about three lines worth of text on this phone. Ray Stevens, Miss Nan said. You're exactly uh, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I forgot. i got to put this part in the back. I probably should have done that in the beginning, but hey, whatever. Hi, Maria. This is my backer, y'all. I'm going to show y'all that. See the I streak. Can... Oh, yes. I can't yes. believe we, we remember that. Yeah. Okay. Tom right. T. Hall sang Sneaky Snake and Ray oh, Stevens yeah, sang the T. Mississippi Ruby. Coral Revival. That. Absolutely, Miss Laura. I remember. We're our age. We now, are. Watch this, y'all. Whenever you run out of staples, and you're going to run out of staples. The way we staple, you definitely are. All right, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to get some staples out of here. And it's not the easiest thing to get staples out of Hi, here. Hi, Miss Terry. Okay. So you're, they even have the arrows on here that'll tell you that's the direction they go in. So you put that in there like that. And then you give it a right, little, a little bump. Yeah. 
Go. As much as she's used this this nail gun, hi sissy. We're talking about the streak and Tom T Hall and Sneaky Snake. We Kelly, Bruce saw. We all saw a snake today, and, and Missy got mad because uh, of course wouldn't kill it. How are you gonna not kill it? He said it wasn't poisonous, but he Missy don't said he didn't know. He don't know. I was Terry. So y'all, I made a little boo boo right here, so I got to pull this nail out. So if you do that, here's what I do. Just pull it out with this thing right here. There we go. Okay. See what kind of shenanigans you're missing today, Kel? All right. Kelly is our sister, by the way, if y'all didn't know. Yeah. She's lucky. She's the oldest one. Ashley said, y'all are ridiculous. No, we're not. Ashley's just jealous she's not over here. Kelly's myself. the oldest one. She's very old. She's, she's bossy. And me. Ash said we're ridiculous in the in the best way. Ah, thank you, Ashley. Okay. So I'm going to show y'all here in just a second how these nails, how these numbers are going to work. Okay. So I got that. Okay. Now. Tickers, I was watching some a video of, of uh, the new baby. She is so oh, adorable. She's precious. We call Ashley Tick. I don't know that she wants that shared with y'all, but yeah. it's a little late. We're so used to calling her that. Mm -hmm. I don't really have the ability to call her anything else. All right, so you're gonna get, I, I did my numbers black and my, my rectangles white. Doesn't mean you have to do that, but that's what I do. And what I do is I kind of line them up like this. Ooh, child, they get stuck to the thing. <laughs> oh, well, it's all right. So, Kim, she did. So we've changed the numbers a couple of times. Kim yes. is pointing out the fact that the numbers have changed. Yes, they have. Um, that's the thing about when you're in the creation process, you'll change things a couple of times until well, you get it I, how you, what these, works the best. And here's the thing. And you can definitely use these if you would rather do that. They came from Home Depot. She is, Ashley. Okay. You can definitely do that. The reason I changed is because of the fact that when you are going to, at a paint party they're going to have to cut these down a little bit and they're going to have to peel and stick them and when people I love have these to do better. that they have they get a little bit um unsure because then the sticker <coughs> never you're going to see a little wood peeking out the sticker's never going to lay flat on there exactly <laughs> oh shaves Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue these down since it seems like my nail. Oh, you know why? I know why my nails are going through. Duh. Hey, hey, look at you. She was starting to oh, You're wet. Where are you so wow? <laughs> she was, oh, where are you wet? Sheila. She was bad, y'all. Okay, the reason that my nails went through on these, because I was being a dummy, as uh, Fred G. Stanford said, I know you just messed Fred, Sanford. Okay, the reason I do too, Laura. Through is these little white things are one eighth inch. <clears throat> Therefore, what I should have used is the three eighths, and I use the half inch. So I think I can change this. So that's not yeah, Kim, that's right. It was a spinning clock design, and yeah. it's changed a couple of times. The spinning clock didn't spin. Ashley said two words for Shiva: obedience, school. She really does need that. I'm not even lying. <laughs> Ashley's right. I don't know anybody who could be obedient to teachers. Mary was telling me the other morning she woke up to dogs flapping their tails in her. What happened? So I, I was in the spare bedroom because Bruce would kill me if the dogs were not in the bed. Fred I couldn't sleep, so I went to the spare bedroom, and the dogs get in the bed with me when I go to the spare bedroom if I can't sleep. Well, they wake me up because... Hi, Jimmy. What happened was I was sleeping. It was eight o'clock in the morning. They wanted me to get up and give them their treats. I was sleeping in later than normal. And I hear them, I feel the motion on the bed. Like, you know, the bed has got motion. <laughs> and I'm like, what is going on? So I open my eye and both dogs are standing on all four legs, looming over me with their face near my face, with their tails wagging in the air. Cause they, they wanted some treats. They wanted treats. And I wasn't getting up on time. Ashley said every time she comes over, she was scratches her car. And then she she does things that are not appropriate. And, and yes. if you don't. Smells people's private parts. <laughs> swear she does, y'all. If you don't know that she does that and how to avoid it, before we can catch her sometimes, 
Yeah, okay. she probably does have to go so to the school. So y'all get the idea. There you go. But y'all, that's so pretty. I love this much, much better than any of the other designs. Now, what we could do if we wanted to, I'm not saying you have to, but what I might do, and I don't necessarily have to do it on this video because it is... Uh, Hi, Sharon. You'll get the idea, but let me go over here and do this. Ah, uh, Laura's dog wakes her up by licking her face all over. Our dogs demand treats. They don't ask for them. They demand them. And, and you I better hand them, them over. Like Stingy. Or as Hi, Bridget. Says, maybe that's why they need to go to obedience school. Okay. Debbie says the numbers look so much better, and we agree. I agree. Well, number At one, one Debbie, they're 3D, so that's right. part of the reason why they look better. Hi, Melissa. Uh, that's And this way, you get a little bit more of a, a layered look. Right. What you can always do, if you want, is do this to give you a little bit of shading, shading or shadowing, whatever you want to call it, on that. And would you only do gray, or is there any other color? I would, you would only do? do gray or a, a light, light blue. You don't want to do anything that's going to take away from your red and green on your Christmas. Something about red. Yeah backgrounds and white lettering is so classically uh, beautiful really us is. too melissa melissa says she loves the sun we do too what is not to love <laughs> this is just a good design it took me a while uh as kim pointed out i've had a couple of different design changes on this and um y'all it's never it's hard to do a layered design like this that's personalized with a countdown and get it right the first time. Ashley says that we need to do, um, make a display for the store and have a countdown at the store. Yeah, that's true. Miss Terry said it's very classic. She loves it's this. Hi, Marisol. And it's not uh, hard to paint. We haven't been on this live very long. We really haven't. And you already see a pretty much a finished product. And it's, um, but it's it doesn't true. look like how easy it is to paint. Right. It looks like it took a while. It's very, very, very pretty. And, uh, and that way, I'm going to do the other sign I do in green. I'll post a picture of it tomorrow, and it'll just be a green bulb, and I'll do this dark green. Other than that, it'll, it all looks identical. But definitely go check out the blank if that's something you're interested in. You have to give us a little while because we have to do your name. And um, if you want to come to the paint party, I think Debbie posted that. But that's the only way to get this. We don't sell it as a finished product. So, a blank so the that blank, you paint yourself. are they at the store right now? Because yes. uh, someone was saying they're coming to get theirs tomorrow. Well, uh, is that Mary Kay Griggs? It Mary, is. Mary's is ready. Okay. She, she ordered hers the other day. Okay. Mary Kay, I'm glad you're out on this video. So you're going to get two last names of Griggs because the first one I did, I didn't care for it. I did another one, so you're going to get two of them. So just throw one of them away. And I or keep it for a backup. Or keep it for a backup. And I haven't gotten over here with the new numbers in the morning. I'll take them over there. Hi, Shannon. But yeah, yours is ready, Mary Kay, so you're good. Thank y'all for hanging out with Connie and I. Connie, I'm going to give her one last opportunity to pan on our product. Check out the blank if that's something you're interested in, or come see us at the paint party. Terry wants to know, the this Friday's paint party, is it already booked? Uh, we still have, I think, six openings left, and we're doing boo sheet. This is some boo sheet or... You can do, I think it's the uh, scroll pumpkin or any of the ceramics. And then Saturday, we're doing the vertical porch leaners. You're and welcome, Miss Terry. And I think we have four openings on the vertical porch leaners, if I remember. And right. when is this party going to be? I'm sorry if you said That's it. A, I didn't. I believe, I want to say, is it September 17th or October? I don't know. But then we'll definitely let y'all know. And it's, it's in there. Uh, you can go to the website. I honestly... I, I, I should have thought about that. Miss Terry anyway. said she's going to get her some boo -shi. boo shi. Me and Mary keep on passing each other text messages with that sign in there. Every I time something that. happens, it was, this is ticks shi, us off. This is some boo -shi. <laughs> Well, it's a cute way of saying you It know, is. Something we probably shouldn't be saying. But anyway, thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks, Tom, for being our greatest camera person on the planet ever. And, and I'm our only uh, camera person. <laughs> so I guess I would be our greatest camera. <laughs> person That's what makes we had so fun great. with you guys thank yeah. you so so Thanks much for hanging out with us bye-bye bye, -bye. bye.